Today, we are getting right into our Backyard Barbecue Competition Series. Let's get to it. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Kevin, and today I'm going to show you how I like to prepare for my special cooks. All right, this is part of a barbecue competition backyard series I'm doing. Uh, well, this isn't for what I do at a competition, but when I want to spice up and really knock my guest pants right off, that sounds wrong, but we're gonna go with it. When I wanna really impress them, this is the cook I follow. Now, I'm not going to go step by step like starting the fire. There's other videos of mine you can watch if you wanna know about learning how to get the fire going, managing temperatures. We have a whole series on fire management. Check those out. Today, I'm going to show you uh, the prep really quick, then what to look for in the cook. Now I'm talking uh, the color of the brisket, temperatures, when am I wrapping, how long am I wrapping for afterwards, which really doesn't matter because you're looking for temp, but I wanna show you. And at the final, the part three, I'm going to show you the trick to really impress your friends and family when they come over because this brisket is going to taste amazing and you gotta give it a try. Let's go. All right, first things first, when I'm doing the prep uh, for something a little bit different that my friends and family probably don't experience on their own or at a restaurant is I inject it with Cosmo's Reserve Blend. Uh, he's got a few others now I saw on Amazon, but it's really easy, it's really quick. I actually put saran wrap on top of it to make sure my kitchen didn't get a mess when it started going all over, which is crazy. But this helps give that extra something to your brisket that your friends probably aren't doing themselves or they're not getting at a restaurant. So it is uh, something to check out. All right, here it is. You want your friends to like you. You want your friends to like you, right? This is my, I want my friends to like me, rub. All right, we do use this for a competition and I use this uh, pretty much for every brisket I do now. There are a lot of great brisket rubs out here. This one is GC Seasonings. Uh, it's their Texas Bold. And I don't know what the owner did, but this thing just, every time we throw it on brisket, we like it. When we compare it against others, we just always come back to this one. So this is a must that you gotta check out. I call it the, I want my friends to like me, so I don't wanna screw it up, rub. Texas Bold, GC Seasonings. Next. We have about an hour and a half on this brisket already. We're going fat cap up. I actually normally don't do fat cap up, but with this smoker, it is a beast and it throws out a lot of heat. So I wanted the fat to be coming on down. But as you can see, the heat is already hitting. I don't know if you can see it, but it's starting to hit the back there. So I'm about to get my spray bottle out, but I can tell already with this cook that I'm probably going to have to cushion the blow of the heat hitting it so hard in some areas. So I'm going to get tin foil and in a couple hours, I'm gonna make sure I'm protecting some of that area to get a better cook. From our brisket trim video, what I was really trying to get was everything rounded off so it would be more aerodynamic. Uh, but as you can see, the heat is hitting it hard, so I might rotate it throughout the cook, which is completely fine. That's up to you. This smoker is a reverse flow, so there's a tray under here, a shield that the smoke goes under, the heat goes under, then it pops up over here, and then it comes back up and over and exits out here. So I have my point this direction, trying to get the blunt uh, first hit of that smoke but as you can see, it gets a good amount of it and we might have to flip this throughout the cook, which is perfectly fine. We are about four hours in. We've been cooking at 270 to 278. It's been right around 275 all the way up to 295 for this entire cook. Let's go check it. As you can see, this brisket just looks Beautiful. The coloring. Now my concern I'm having is a little over burning here. That's the point. It's getting hit with the most airflow heat 
hitting it. Uh, the rest of it, the flat's looking good. The mahogany color, I don't think it's picking up on camera, but this brisket is just a beauty. But I do want to protect it, so I've been spraying with the spray bottle every hour after the first hour uh, just to give it some coating. However, I don't want this just to get burned up really bad, so I'm going to throw some tinfoil on it, and uh, that's that. And just to be clear, I'm not tin foiling the whole thing. It was just the parts that were already getting a little too crisp and I want to keep this going. Uh, the brisket's really already, you know, set for the most part. It's pretty close, but I want to get five to six hours. It's clocking in at 160 degrees. Uh, technically you could wrap it, but I really want to get the right color and texture before I wrap and it's just, it's not quite there yet when it comes to uh, the rub setting. It's so close, so close, but we're just not there yet. Anyway, there we go. Hey guys, I am editing. I'm sorry. I just realized after I wrapped it, I put it back into the smoker for about two to two and a half hours to get to 203. Uh, I just realized while I was editing, I didn't film that part of it. So right after I did that terrible camera work, uh, my brain must have just fogged up, but I did put it back on the smoker, got the temperature up to about 203, pulled it and then it went in the oven. Sorry about the mishap. All right guys, there you go. That is the cooked portion of it. It just came out of the oven where it was at 170 for two hours, slowly bringing down the temperature. And then I cut the power off and it's been sitting for about another hour, hour and a half in the oven cooling down. Uh, that concludes this part of the cook. So I want to break this up into a couple parts for a few different reasons. Uh, I want to show you the different transitions during a brisket cook. I want to focus on that. A lot of the videos I've done in the past has been focusing on the fire, uh, focusing on temperatures, but I wanted to really show this is what I'm doing at the different intervals in, this, in the cook, the prep, Nice and easy, get it on, get it smoking. Took about five, six hours, then I wrapped it. I really wanted to go seven or eight hours. We'll talk about that later. But uh, it was time to wrap it. I want to emphasize on how I wrap it when I really want to knock it out of the park. Uh, that's the way I do it. And then after that, it was just throw it in the oven and let it rest after it hit 203. So there we go with that. I want to make sure you check out the next video because I am about to unwrap this and show you one of my favorite tricks, tips, on making sure you blow away your guest with delicious brisket. So I'm gonna do that in about five minutes. Look for the next video, like this video if you liked it, and make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys real soon.